humanity has long gazed into the heavens and wondered about the nature of the stars. Today we understand that they are suns, around which orbit a multitude and diversity of worlds. Since the launch of the Kepler Space Telescope in 2009, we've identified thousands of planets orbiting other stars, and our knowledge about them has grown tremendously. How have we learned so much so fast, and how has our understanding of physics played a role in this great detective story? During its operation, the Kepler Space Telescope observed about 100,000 stars in a small patch of sky in the constellations of Cygnus and Lyra. The light from a single star only falls onto a couple of pixels of the telescope's CCD camera, which are recorded over time and monitored for tiny changes in light intensity indicative of the presence of planets. Some planetary systems are oriented so that we on Earth view the orbit's edge on. As a result, the planets periodically transit the stellar disk, resulting in dips in recorded light intensity. These large dips are called primary transits, and most Kepler planets are detected in this way. But often small dips called secondary transits are detected, as light from the planet itself is hid as it passes behind its star. This indicates that there are more subtle lighting effects that can convey even more information about the planet. Planets reflect light, and hot planets emit thermal radiation. As they orbit the star, they go through phases just like the moon. In some cases, secondary transits occur as a fully lit planet passes behind the star. Just as the moon creates ocean tides on Earth, massive planets closely orbiting their host stars create tidal forces stretching the star into an ellipsoid. While exaggerated in these animations, the effect can be significant enough to be detectable. As the planet orbits, the visible cross-section of the star changes, resulting in a light intensity that varies at twice the orbital period. There is a subtle relativistic effect involving intensity, called Doppler boosting or beaming, where a star that emits light uniformly at rest will emit more light toward the front as it moves relative to an observer, and less to the back. A planet and its star orbit one another about their center of mass. As a result, a massive planet will make the star wobble. As the star wobbles, Doppler boosting results in an increase in the light intensity as the star moves toward the Earth, and a decrease as it moves away from the Earth. Last, an understanding of the orbital mechanics allows us to construct detailed mathematical models of these recorded light variations. The mathematical models can be fit to data, revealing the precise nature of the planetary system. We recently validated our detection techniques on a known planet, KY 13b. This is an enormous planet, more than seven times more massive than Jupiter and twice the radius. It closely orbits a hot white A-type star every one and three quarters days. We've been able to determine that its orbit is elliptical and that its dayside temperature is 3500 degrees Kelvin. As such, this world glows with an orange-red light. In yet another system, we have found evidence that a Jupiter-mass planet is a partner that chases it in its very own orbit. This partner appears to be a member of a strange new class of gas planets, as it is twice the radius of Earth, and yet has the density of Neptune. We've not only detected planets, but also stars. We've discovered this triple star system where two red M dwarves orbit one another every 18 hours like whirling dervishes as they co-orbit a yellow sun-like star in an otherworldly dance. What mysteries we will uncover in the coming years is anyone's guess. Perhaps we shall even find a living world populated by an advanced civilization. The combination of our technology and our careful understanding 
and application of physics will allow us to expand our knowledge of this most amazing universe.